Well, it, it thanks you. Uh, I hope we're not only an obstacle uh, to the Parliament, but uh, can also contribute uh, to do um, uh, a sound and sustainable investment in this important field. Uh, thanks, Mr. Bihari, for allowing me to enjoy the main course. Um, I won't uh, go too much uh, into the concrete proposal, uh, which Anthony will do uh, a bit later, but uh, just allow me to do comment on, uh, on the two presentations given and, and to put it into a bit broader picture of uh, what we are doing in, in, in the field of cohesion policy and what we are proposing for, for the next period. I mean, I could uh, shorten it down tremendously uh, to say, uh, thanks Vittorio, thanks Michael, this was ex exactly two real best practice examples on how uh, to sustainably invest uh, in, in, in broadband uh, deployment uh, in, in, in internet and uh, this is what we are trying uh, to do to support also uh, with uh, the different uh, investment um, and structural uh, funds. Um, just to put it very shortly into a bigger picture, the cohesion policy, and especially the, the new cohesion policy, and I think this is what we completely agree with the co-legislators, is set up, especially in the future, as an investment policy. And we uh, need to, to, to see and to understand this shift from a, an, an infrastructure uh, so old infrastructure uh, policy, mainly investing in road and railways, uh, into an investment policy uh, with SMEs innovation uh, in its very centre. And there we also see the need for new infrastructure, the, the need for broadband deployment uh, and so on. But in this very uh, or with a very special focus, how does it help, how does it contribute uh, to economic Economic growth, uh, to, to economic, uh, to, to economic uh, growth, and to new jobs, and this is why uh, we also, why the college later also included uh, the field of uh, ICT as one of the then four uh, main thematic objectives, which are. Compulsory mainly for, for, for older regions. With the Parliament did. The Parliament, the Parliament did. Parliament. The Parliament. So Not the Commission, huh? please. <laughs> I said it's an legislative place for Commission. But it was always part of the 11 priorities, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I explicitly mentioned the co legislators, I heard. Um, just let me point out four uh, main new. Uh, aspect of, of the a new policy in order to, do, to help also to understand uh, what uh, how investment in, in, in ICT, how investment in, in broadband uh, deployment can take place. Uh, the new cohesion policy has a far stronger strategic approach. Bro in investment in projects, projects follow strategy. This is also the reason uh, why with regard to, to, to innovation, with regard to uh, ICT, we have the so-called ex-ante conditionalities, meaning that the region, that the member state, need to uh, embed those investments into a broader uh, strategy. It's not only projects here and there. How would such investment contribute to a sustainable growth strategy of the region, uh, of the particular uh, member state. Um, so and it is uh, especially, I think, uh, this new, more strategic approach, which makes the big difference between cohesion policy in, in some times, sometimes and the new uh, co cohesion policy. And, and those were two uh, extremely uh, impressive examples uh, how already in the past regions followed exactly this approach we want now to have many other regions followed. Um, now we are at the very stage where uh, the colleges later are just about uh, to agree, hopefully, on the package in the next couple of days. We are on the very last meters. Uh, but on the other hand side, and, and this is what we uh, were discussing bilaterally also uh, 
uh, earlier, that now it's in the hands of the member states uh, of the regions to make use of these different uh, investment opportunities to embed it in very particular uh, investment strategies to see how investment into broadband would fit uh, into their smart specialization strategy, what role does it play? Uh, this is what we are just about to discuss with the member states, with the regions, in a sort of guided bottom-up pro process, and therefore it's at the very right moment to also lead such a discussion uh, with you, because it's also you as discussion partners with the regions, with member states, uh, who need to give uh, their your very input to these discussions on the ground. Thanks.